Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you have been using ChatGPT, then you probably know how powerful and versatile it is. But what if I told you that there are some amazing alternatives out there that could be even better for certain tasks? In today's video, we are going to dive into the top 5 alternatives to ChatGPT that you might want to try out, whether you are a content creator, a student, or just someone who loves exploring new tech. I want you to stick around because these tools will change the way you work entirely. The first on our list is Google Gemini. This AI tool is relatively new, but it's already making a lot of waves. Gemini leverages Google's massive data ecosystem, making it incredibly powerful for tasks like data analysis, content generation, and even creative brainstorming. One of the biggest strengths of Gemini is its integration with other Google tools like Google Workspace, Google Cloud, and so on. This means if you are already embedded in the Google ecosystem, Gemini can supercharge your productivity by seamlessly blending with your existing workflows. So it's important to note that Gemini's capabilities are heavily tied to the Google's ecosystem, which might not be ideal if you are using other platforms. ChatGPT is known for its wider range of conversational abilities and accessibility, while Gemini is a bit more specialized. And next up, we have Microsoft Copilot. This tool is an AI assistant that integrates directly with Microsoft 365 applications like Microsoft Word, Excel, and Teams. Its biggest strength is on how it enhances productivity with the Microsoft ecosystem. If you are someone who spends a lot of time in Word or Excel, Microsoft Copilot can help draft emails for you, create complex spreadsheets, or even manage your calendar with just a few commands. Copilot is very much tied to the productivity space. It is fantastic for work-related tasks, but it might not be as versatile for more creative or conversational use. Now let's talk about Perplexity AI. This AI tool stands out because of its ability to handle complex queries and provide in-depth responses. It's like having an expert in your pocket that breaks down complicated topics into easy to understand language. What makes Perplexity AI special is its focus on clarity and precision. It's ideal for researchers, students, and anyone who needs detailed explanations. It excels in providing accurate, concise answers to very specific questions, something that ChatGPT sometimes struggles with when it gets too creative with its responses. So because of that specialization, it means it might not be as good for more casual conversations or creative writing tasks where you want a bit more flair or imagination. That is where ChatGPT can do better. So next we have ChatPDF. It's an AI specifically designed to help you interact with PDF documents. This tool is a game changer for anyone who works with a lot of documents and needs to quickly extract information or have a conversation with the content inside a PDF. So chat PDF strength lies in its ability to help you navigate, understand, and summarize PDF content without you having to manually search through the pages and pages of texts. This is perfect for students, lawyers, or professionals who deal with heavy documentation. Chat PDF is focused solely on PDF documents, meaning it lacks the broader conversational and creative abilities like that of ChatGPT. Now the last but not the least, we have ChatSonic. If you love everything about ChatGPT, but you wish it had more features, then ChatSonic might be the perfect alternative for you. It offers everything from AI ad generation to voice commands and even real-time data integration. One of the standout features of ChatSonic is its ability to create detailed images from text prompts, something that ChatGPT doesn't offer natively. It feels more like a true personal assistant. However, with all these extra features, ChatSonic can sometimes feel a bit overwhelming, especially if you are just looking for simple, straightforward chat experience like what ChatGPT provides. And there you have it. These are my top 5 alternatives to ChatGPT. Have you tried any of these tools? Which one is your favorite and why? 
Drop your thoughts in the comment section. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't always forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.